Good morning traders, welcome to Floyd the Markets Tuesday, volume 184, tuning in here at London Open to have an update, what happened on Monday, what we can do today and where do I see price action going today and uh, potentially for the, pretty much for the remaining of the week. Because you know, when we do our analysis on Saturday, Monday opens, it does something completely different, which is what happened this week. So, of course, we have to sit down, adapt and see what the market is showing us from the open. So without further ado, you know how this video goes. It's very raw. It's very fresh. We just jump into the market. Let's do it without wasting any time. All right, as always, we're going to get started with a Dixie. First of all, you have to be checking your economic calendar every day. Today, just right now on London Open, we're having quite a couple of news. So you can see right now we have like Spanish, German, uh, French right there. We have Swiss franc news for the remaining of the day. We have a couple of Bank of England speeches right there. And uh, consumer confidence, usually very important for, for inflation for the U.S., Nothing very important, so GDP for CAT, so if you're trading CAT, right, uh, then that could be something to look at. But again, this week is uh, does not have any like major, major, major news, so I guess that's fine. So jumping onto the dollar, well, what we have right now, so you can see my three scenarios, and again, you can see that mm, probably this is the scenario that is playing out right now, because if I delete all of these scenarios, right, uh, you're going to see, so this is very tricky right there. Because technically, this can definitely be classified either as a liquidity grab or you can say that it's a structure break. Personally, I do not like the, the, these candles. Why? Because this candle took out the high and then immediately took out the low, right? So did it first make a high? Did it first make a low and then a high? And then what happened, right? Of course, you can you can see what happened by going on the hourly time frame, which again shows you that the market first pushed up and then it pushed down and broke structure. So again, here we can be a little bit... Um, 50-50, so on the DXY, remember, we are still, um, what do we have right there? Yeah, well, this is a very kind of refined extreme zone right there, and as I told you, then this could potentially become liquidity, but first of all, we can have a reaction from this area, and we had a massive bearish reaction day from this area, right? So I do not want to rush to turn bearish on this, uh, on this pair, just because we tapped this really refined thing on the left, right? But what we have technically right there is if you really zoom in, um, you can say the market is shifting bearish. And what you're going to see also in EU is that the market also shifted bullish with kind of with the same uh, with the same price delivery. And yes, right now what we have is a push and the market actually taps inside this forwardly demand zone. So again, technically, this is no longer our major high low, right? Because right now we have a major lower high. So as I say, guys, again, I'm a little bit 50-50 on this one. It's not usually the range that I want to see. Usually, I'd like to see the market to push up and stay above, right? It doesn't matter if it's like with a wick or something. I at least want to see like a bullish candle to show me that there was conviction in breaking this level because this one just wicked it for a little bit and then all the way came all the way back down to, to actually take out the higher low. So I don't like it. So... We're acting from this zone, right? So what we do right now is we have a battle between supply and demand. So probably today we're going to see who is going to win. So if I just jump on the 15 minute time frame, uh, the thing on the 15 minute time frame is that the market is currently bearish trading within this range, right? there. So we tapped in, we pull back 50% and right now we're just ranging around right there. So what you are trading right now is internal structure, right? Even internal on the 15 minute. Because again, we know like, yeah, sure, this is our 50 minute push. This is our 50 minute um, minor structure. But even if you zoom in on the 15 minute, this is your high. 15 minute high, 15 minute low. All of this is in turn on the 15 minute, right? So then saying that, okay, this is a breakup. This is a breakup. This is a breakdown. It's kind of valid because all of it is internal. Can you trade it? Yes. If you want to trade internal, that's fine, right? So for example, right now, what the market did, it broke structure up. And right now it's technically bullish. So in order to turn bearish, then I would like to see a break of structure down. Okay, but again, all of this is internal. Potentially, uh, we can be looking for the market to take out this low right there on the Dixie. Or for it to pull back back into the 4 hourly supply because it hasn't. Okay, so this is currently where we are at on London Open. Uh, I would expect like something like this to potentially happen for us to push lower. Because again, technically, according to me, the forward time frame has shifted bearish, so I have that bearish vibe, right? And we have bullishness across all the other pairs. So I would say bearish is a high probability trade, but again, just flow with the markets and be aware that on the Dixie, which is very important for you to, to monitor, um, where is the highlighter? This is your high, this is your low on the 15 minute, and everything is internal. So I would like to either see a break of this, 
what a break of this right there so that's dixie a little bit 50 50 and yeah what you're gonna see with eu as well is um that we did kind of the same we actually broke above this one but we also made a brand new one so you can see i thought we we're gonna tap in here pull back and then massively flush but as we tap inside this zone so i'm gonna delete this you can see that the same thing with the dxy happened right we have a break of structure down and then on the next pretty much on the same candle we also have a break of structure up right so this is something that i do not like but i'm still gonna be mindful of it because even if you don't take this one well we came in and grabbed this high as well so right now what we have is a push we already have a pullback so again technically uh, we can be looking for the market to be taking out these highs right there dropping on the 50 minute um so 50 minutes is a little bit tricky right now, similar to the DXY. You can view it in two ways. You can either say that this is your major range or you can say that this here is your major range. OK, uh, personally, again, I'm looking at this little demand zone right there that we just responded this morning, uh, but I do not. Um, I did not trade from this one. Why? Well, because if you see the market pulled back, created a potential higher low, tried to push, failed to take out the high. So then I was looking for this one to get taken and then to potentially take a long but as you can see so how internal structure works this is the low this is the high everything inside is internal but then you still get those little kind of shifts right you have this break of structure down then you have this break of structure up right there which forms the man zone right and you can see the market is currently uh, responding from that so still i am not trading here so uh to me your is today is a skip until we either come in to take out this low right and then maybe give me a long if not then i will be breaking uh, waiting for a break of this low right there and then waiting for a new alignment to potentially go long or i will be just taking a short towards the demand zone and then see if we're going to get an alignment from here so to me euro usd is not tradable right now you can be looking like for example i have a member uh, uh jumping in on longs right there on long continuations one of our setups is a uh, one minute we have three entry setups right and one of them is just following the continuations after the initial setup was provided but again according to me this is um, not a pretty valid trade so i'm waiting on it yesterday i had a pretty sad day uh, because i took one full loss and one half loss uh where was it yeah so pretty much yeah i already forgot where i took it yeah, but it doesn't matter but then i missed this guy right there so i wasn't on the charts i'm currently writing my graduation thesis and i'm pretty distracted with that beautiful trade right there ran for massive and there was a textbook one minute entry everything was there and even if you take it like with a swing approach like this still absolutely insane trade so hopefully some of you capitalize on that uh, the majority of my team did right but i personally did not which is quite sad so that's eu as you can see lots of bullish momentum kicking in right now so pretty much the target is going to be this one if we maintain this bullish momentum if we break above then we just find a new range and continue following the flow and of course you then have to adapt to a new hourly range as well because then this one will be a higher low formation yep you can see a lot of momentum kicking in on the on the euro so uh yeah this one again as i told you this one shifted bullish so the folly was bullish and what we pretty much had is a very little pullback yesterday so very little pullback right there actually on monday um, morning session on monday continuation up pullback continuation up okay this according to me is not a valid higher low right my valid higher low is right there so this could be a valid demand zone but it's not a valid higher low that if broken we are going to be changing bearish okay so currently nothing to do in euro yen i think it's wow look at that wow massive massive momentum these days so we definitely got to get a little bit more focused um nothing to do right now so pretty much as i'm just speaking the market is massively pumping so don't trend follow it too much because yeah you have to either wait for a new 50 minutes higher low then a higher high and then to follow the continuation or you wait for a pullback inside this zone and then an entry right there so if the market is pushing then you don't get much of a choice right so you just gotta wait for the pullback so euro yen right now if you were not in yesterday if you're not in early this morning from this little range which i don't think you you could have gotten because the 50 minute was technically bearish to me uh then you just let this one play out and wait for a new setup so that's ej major higher low down there uh aussie dollar so yeah aussie dollar is doing something that it did last week so remember last week i told you that this right there was a four hourly structure break according to me right the market rolled down okay it's not perfect you could have taken as i told you you could have taken this one as your major one 
there it goes okay so same thing right now same thing right now although i like this one a little bit more than for example eu and the dxy because here we broke and stayed below right and then technically here you can see we break back up okay but look at the momentum and look at the volume look, look at the candles that are breaking out this high it just makes no sense right it's just so weak so wicky and look already one candle is engulfing three of those candles so I can just buy the candle anatomy. I think that the market is coming in to take out this low, right? And continue bearish on the 4H. And if you jump on the 15 minute, we have a massively trending Asian range. The market pulls back again. The market drops down again. So technically you have a 15 minute break. Technically right there, you have a, a little supply that I will be careful because it's very, very, very little, right? Uh, but again, just keep in mind, we are bullish on 4h technically but again i would just expect that this low to go because it formed in a very flat manner okay so let's see this is what i'm going to be looking for right now if i'm trading aussie short from here or short from there continuation lower if the market somehow right finds demand from we're currently tapping like a little demand zone for example here that caused the four hourly break to me if we find some sort of demand right there and the market decides to like shift up then i will be also open to longs because why not, right? Technically, we're bullish on the 4H. So let's see. But again, just at the back of my mind, I would expect this low to get taken because, again, this does not really show me a lot of conviction for the market really shifting bullish on the 4H. But of course, let's see. Um, Aussie JPY. So I'm going to be skipping Aussie JPY and NZD JPY. So you can see they... Yeah, well, it actually wicked up. So you can see this was the major lower high. The market came in, reacted, made... Did not make a new lower low. Then this becomes weak. The market comes in and takes it out. So what we have right now, technically, according to me, again, you know, from my market structure video, I take wicks as breaks. Technically, right now, I have a bullish market. The market pull back and is currently giving a response. Okay, so you can see AU did the same. This one is also doing the same. And uh, tap the demand. Technically, you can even say that this could be your 50-minute trend change. If you don't have one down there, you might. Yeah, you actually have one there and then right there and then you should be long on this trade from here technically yeah so it's shifting bullish right and it's bullish on the 4h as well so it kind of gives me that bullish vibe if you want to trade this one then of course right now this is your last break of structure what is the demand that caused it it's here you can use like a a 24 minute in order to make it for example bigger and then a retest right there could potentially mean that we could be going long targeting towards the asian high because we took out asian low we got the rejection right and right now it should potentially be headed towards the asian high or eventually making a new hourly high high as well so yeah that's aj i'm currently bullish again guys just flow with the markets if the market just dumps right there break structure lower align to it and then just keep following the new trend but again always keep in mind what your quality time frame is which again according to me on au and aj well it's bullish according to me so again if you get a long on au right now which just which looks like it wants to crush this level and if you get a long on aj then go for it and you you can see it kind of yeah so i don't like this like on au and nu so they both broke structure here and they both broke bullish structure here and then they're both currently technically bullish but it just looks like it wants to break right it just looks like it wants to break and again i've seen this sometimes the market just throws a liquidity grab and again as i told you on the market structure video how do you know if it's a liquidity grab or if it just takes the high and then immediately flushes and takes out the low okay but still we don't know so here if you get a 50 minute bullish shift you can be looking for longs right you can be looking for longs because again trust if you have the rules then trust so just came in took out this low as potential liquidity and then in order for me to align bullish it needs to break this okay but what i would actually love seeing is just the market to take out the low so we can turn bearish on 4h and then with confidence you can be looking for a pullback and then maybe short on uh, wednesday or thursday or friday okay with the short quality bias so let's see but this is how it currently looks like again very similar to au you have this you also have this which i would probably take something like this this kind of is it's valid but it's not very significant it's just the base right there so let's see again well is technically bullish according to me but it just looks like it wants to break so au and nu watch out all right watch out don't sell it too much into demand right so usually there is a rule don't sell in demand and don't buy in supply because buyers and sellers could be coming in any time right but yeah, if we have this, then I will be confident to actually start taking shorts. So let's see. 
flow with the markets, NJ, I'm just skipping this one because if I jump on the Fawley time frame, we're still in this range. So not even going to lose time with it. Um, UJ, so UJ is tapping into this again major zone right there. It's heavily bullish. Heavily bullish. We're having this recent uh, bearish momentum on the DXY, right? But you can see UJ did not respond as much and it's currently going on and making a new high. So one of my outcomes was to potentially just continue trending higher and then see what's going to happen. The other one was to get a little pullback and then an impulse. There it is, right? We got a little pullback, very little in fact. And right now we are breaking structure higher, creating a new hourly higher low formation. And then potentially we can drop a little a big demand zone like this, right? And yeah, what you should be doing right now, well, the market is pushing. So you got to be waiting for the pullback. Because right now it's making a new hard high, it's pushing, so you miss the trade. If you're not in right there, you missed it. Don't chase it as it pushes up. What you could do is wait for a new 50-minute pullback, a new 50-minute break, and then to follow that 50-minute um, setup, or to wait for the market to pull back right there and then give you an alignment and then potentially to go up again. So that is USDJPY. Very simple in a push phase, so we got to wait for the pullback. But very happy to see that we have a trend going on on UJ. So... For the JPY and UJ traders, you're having some, some good times right now. UCAT, um, let's see, it's tapping into this, uh, yeah, pretty much the demand zone. So one of my outcomes was just a 50% pullback and a push. The other one was a very deep pullback. And this is what happens. We went very, very, very deep. Like, look at that wick right there. Came in, grabbed the liquidity, and then it aligned bullish right there. So then you can technically start looking for the longs. Uh, but then it got rather sloppy because it's the end of the day. And yeah, right now you see, like, what I don't like is that, for example, EU is right now pushing up. Um, yeah, the Aussies are pushing. Now, it's only EU that gives me this kind of short-term bullishness, right? DXY is still chopping, like, trying to figure out what's going to happen. But you can see, like, uh, UJ, very bullish. UCAT, very bullish. So they're all showing bullishness, so it doesn't make sense for EU to be pushing up. But yeah, AU is falling. EU is a different kind of monster, right? It moves on its own. So currently, 15-minute break of structure, you immediately ask the question what caused the break, or you can take like a very big uh, zone like this, drop your range when it forms, wait for the pullback, and then take your one-minute entry from here. Very simple, okay? We are bullish on 4H, so as long as we stay above this one, we are bullish. Could it change? Yes, but so far we're bullish. The 15-minute has aligned bullish with the Fowley time frame. We've made the Fowley pullback, so right now your main task will be to ask yourself how can I get into a long trade, right? You either wait for this one to retest or you wait for a new one to form, push, and then just follow the new one. So that's your cat. Very nice, very simple, bullish bias. Uh, here's the Swiss. This one is trending also. Like, look at that. This one is trending also pretty nicely. Might have to start looking at it soon. Um, yeah, and this one, again, I was very wrong. This is why I don't trade GU. I usually get it pretty wrong, right? I was either looking for a daily target right there and then a reversal or a pullback and a drop. Nothing happened, right? It just went on and smashed the lower high, which technically right now you can see it makes our four-hourly structure bullish, all right? Does it make sense having a bearish dollar? No, right? But again, technically, this is the price action we trade in right now. Massive expansion yesterday, currently in the pullback. So technically, this one we no longer need. Daily target. We could go for the daily target uh, because, yeah, you can see right now the daily is still kind of bearish, but if this high fail to take out this low on the daily, then it also could become liquidity. So we can also be seeking this one right there. So a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things can happen. 15 minute time frame right now is in a pullback mode. So there is our push from yesterday. So hopefully some of you like, again, taking out previous daily low, uh, same setup was on EU, right? Aligning bullish. And then it just, it even provided during a London session. So I know a lot of you guys like trading with the imbalances and stuff. This definitely looks like one of the entries and then massively running up. So right now it's in a pullback mode. 50 minute is bearish, right? So we have a break of structure right there. So you have a couple of choices. You either follow the 50 minute short until it turns bullish, which means that the forward pullback is over, or you just wait for it to turn bullish, maybe tap 50% first on the forward leg, right? And then potentially look to long with the forward bias. So that's it. Okay, two choices. Either take a short as a counter trend or wait for the market to align bullish on the 15 minutes so that it can go with the four hourly trend. So that's GU. I'm not going to be throwing like any forecast right now. This is a supply. Again, similar to AU. This is a supply. This is a supply. Right. So you can be looking to short from here. It's high risk. 
it's high risk because it's a pullback trade, right? But also it can definitely con uh, continue to drop lower towards the 50%. So, so let's see, right? It has lots of imbalance right there to fill. I know GU usually likes to go um, fill in the imbalance. So let's see, right? Short bias for now on the 15 minute, bullish bias on the 40 time frame. Know your minor structure. GJ, also like look at the volume on this one. So it just open, it just boom, massive expansion. So again, fall was bullish, you can see. Major high low formation, never broke, went on, took out the weak high. Right now we have a break. Uh, this is not a high low right there. So our high low is still here. Higher low formation, major high low formation. And yeah, right now this is a demand zone. So if the market pulls back right there, you can definitely be looking to take a long. But again, as I told you, all the JPY pairs right now are pushing. So you can do two things. Either wait for the market to pull back and give you a long trade from here. Or wait for the market to make a new pullback, higher low, higher high, and then continue following the flow on the 15 minute. So pretty much that's it. Very simple. Nothing much to do on GJ and the JPYs right now because they're pushing. Well, not the JPYs, like NJ is doing nothing. AJ is um, kind of 50-50 a little bit. Light could be giving us a long setup right now. So let's see. Oh, look at GOAT. So, uh, yeah, gold, you can see similar thing too, but there, there is, for example, but yeah, this is not a valid range according to me right there. So I'm immediately going to say this is not a valid pullback and then break. So this is not a lower high right there. So technically, yes, this one is valid. This is still the lower high. The market kind of made this break of structure lower, pushed higher, and then right now it's breaking lower again on the open, hourly break of structure down, new hourly supply, new hourly lower high. And yeah, right now, as I told you, it's in a push phase. So you, what you have to do is wait for the pullback. Massive dump, right? So right now, you either wait for the market to start forming new ranges and go down, or you wait for the market to pull back right there, give you an alignment, and then potentially continue pushing lower with that new hourly bearish momentum. So gold is bearish right now. Definitely keep following it until you're wrong. Beautiful hourly downtrend on, on gold. So definitely a good time to be striking on gold. Uh, US 30 playing out as expected, right? We have this bearish push right there, lower low, lower high. And right now I would be expecting potentially according to the rules. Well, it should be going to be taking out this low. 15 minute uh, just broke structure right there. 15 minute just broke structure. So right now the, the task is to keep following the 15 minute until this lower low. Okay, so the question right now on US 30 is how do we get in? Okay, how do we get in? This right there is a supply zone. It's not a valid lower high. This is the major lower high on the 50 minutes. So if the market, yeah, so we have two choices on this one as it's dumping right now. You can either wait for one of these levels to tap and take short, or you can just wait for a new lower high. Sorry, lower low. Uh, yeah, this is a lower low, lower high, lower low, and then potentially continue going down. So there are your two scenarios on US 30. It's bearish on the four hour time frame. So I'm looking to take a short with a recent 50 minute range. Same stuff on the um, other indices. All pull back into fall supply or giving a reaction right now. So very curious to see if that reaction is going to sustain and if it's going to go on to, to make a new fall lower low. So once again, coming in right there, 50 minute was bearish. There's that first supply came in lower low, lower high, lower low. So Nasdaq definitely giving it some very good opportunities right there. And uh, yes, right now we just broke again. There is the last supply zone. So again, what you, could, you have to do, either wait for this one right or wait for a new one lower high lower low pull back and then continuation down so that's it and again targeting the low smp probably the same tapped into supply aligned bearish and right now it's just massively dumping down so again if you can trend follow it then that is going to be pretty 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 good so there is a supply zone massive push lower either wait for pullback and a continuation or wait for a lower high lower low right i just keep repeating myself but they're all the same right so that's the indices and cryptos um yeah, cryptos right now. Just, just let's just see what's gonna happen within within this range right there. But again, not really caring much about them. So, so this is where I'm gonna wrap it up. So you can see EU right now is massively impulsing. So my guys who are following like the continuations are it's pretty good. We are gonna be potentially taking out the the Asian high. Uh, you can see like on the five minute, it just came in to reach as like a five minute zone right now. Uh, I was monitoring the one minute on my other screen, right? Uh, but then by the time it aligned, it's it already pushed up. So yeah, this is a pretty good long i think the long that was taken was from here actually uh yeah so the jpy for example ej massively pushing au is again as i told you bullish on foage but it just looks like it wants to break so to me this one is a little bit 
low probability. I just don't see why EURUSD is pumping so much, right? You can see DXY is internally aligning bearish right now. So we definitely get that bearish vibe. So yeah, EU potentially is going to go for this one. It just keeps going with, re with yesterday's bullish momentum from here, right? There are a lot of buyers in the market. They just gave us this pullback, took out Asian low, massive expansion higher towards like this higher high or just Asian high. We just got taken. Uh, GU as well, you can see it's starting to kick in this uh, this momentum. So if it starts shifting on the 15 minute, then you can also start looking for the longs on this one. Why? Because the Fawali is bullish, right? And uh, then, yeah, UCAT, for example, also looks like longs, although it doesn't make sense for like for AU, for uh, EU, for GU to be long and UCAT to also be long. So there is like this crack of correlation. But the thing is, the market is moving. So focus, focus on your pair or if your pair like if your pair is NJ, right, then jump to another pair because you don't want to be sitting at this one shift the pair right but again for example right now the usds are moving very nicely um Euro usd also usd moves good as well gu is, is also pretty good so so yes wishing you guys an amazing week ahead um if you have any questions you know where to find me probably the supply and demand video is not going to be out this week because i'm hell of busy uh probably next week because i really want to put time into it and make it high quality so hopefully you appreciate that. And if you have any questions, again, you know where to find me. Have a crushing week.